But how are you guys doing during the quarantine? A lot of places are opening back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not for me, buddy. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seawards Family. I'm Ivy, thank you for joining me for another Plants with Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Here on this channel, we don't only do plants, we do life. So let's get into this Chinese evergreen, known as the, I always say them wrong, Siam Iora? Aurora? Something like that. Let's call her SA, okay? I'll always drop the name right below in case you're interested in getting this type of Chinese evergreen. I will put her name right here so you can check it out. So let me tell you about her because she's looking a little limp and not have been paying too much attention. So with the quarantine and everything going on, you guys are always gonna hear me refer to that. I have not been able to just pay attention to everything at once, like all of my plants. That's why we've been liking on the plant videos, but we're getting back to it because people are asking questions about it. But if you guys do not know, we recently started Seawards Creations Etsy shop and I do tumblers, shirts, mugs, keychains, and things of that nature. Speaking of such, check it out. Plant Mom, I created this tumbler and I actually love this tumbler a lot. But if you're a guy and you're like, wait a minute, it just says Plant Mom, I can customize it to say whatever name you want to go right here and still keep the planted on this side. All you have to do is go ahead and check out our Etsy shop, shoot me a message, place your order. Hmm, think about that. Check out this Etsy commercial. Be sure to check out SeaWord Creations at Etsy.com. From custom moment mugs, custom tumblers, t-shirts, logos, keychains, and more. We look forward to working with you. And remember, all you need is a moment. Okay, so let's get into this Chinese Evergreen, all right? This Chinese Evergreen I got a while ago. And she was more vibrant than what she is right now. I repotted her and I have not been paying so much attention to her. I basically just been keeping her alive. I have not given her any plant food besides water. And plant food, for you guys who don't know, is this like plant fertilizer. I always use Miracle Grow for like house plants. Um, so I now notice that she really needs some attention because we want to make sure that she is popping for the summer. Okay, okay. We want to make sure that she is popping for the summer. So, I got two cameras going here. I have a camera angle right here and a camera angle right here and I'm going to be using both. So I will have both of these angles in the video so we can keep up and see what's going on. So right now I'm about to give you a view of her bottom because she definitely needs some more soil. As you can see, she needs more soil. Um, she needs these dead leaves to come off. And the reason you want to take off dead leaves is because you do not want the plant giving energy to something that's not growing anymore. So a plant, let's say how like your body gets a scratch on it or something like that, and your body uses this energy or uses whatever vitamins or however God made us to make it get back healthy. But when a plant is, um, a leaf is dying or is not doing too well, the plant takes all its energy and spreads it to that leaf to try to revive it. So it's best to just cut those clippings off, take those leaves off so the plant is not using the energy towards that. The plant can use the energy to grow and be more great. So here, let's take a closer look into what's really going on in here. You can see right here, you see her roots, how they're like kind of up right here. So she needs more soil down here. She needs more soil, right? And she needs to be watered. She needs some attention. So she do have some leaves. She has new growth blooming right here. Hopefully you can see that. So she has new growth. She is still growing, 
but we can't really appreciate the new growth because she needs some care down here, right? So, okay, so now we are back and we can go ahead and add some soil. Oh, let's finish um, clipping off some things. I don't think that this one is gonna survive, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, clip this off. Can y'all see that? See, right here, yeah. Hey. So I'm just gonna go through here and just clean her up a bit. She's gonna be feeling so good once we finish this. So I know it says that it requires this type of plant, the Chinese Evergreen. We're gonna call her SA, like I said. Um, she requires low light, right? But here in this front window, I have her like way back there. Like she's like back there in the corner with the other Chinese evergreen that we are going to be looking at later on in the future. So I'm just gonna continue to, we need her to be sitting upright. You see how she's like linked over? She's just like, I'm sick of this. You ain't showing me no attention. I'm out of here. So how are you guys doing during the quarantine? A lot of places are opening back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not for me, buddy. I'm just too much to risk. You know, I'm so thankful that um, my husband's able to still work from home, still have a job. But with my mom's health condition, all of us in here, it's not safe for us to be out at no gatherings. Even if people are practicing social distancing, it's like, that's not essential. Go to the store, go back home, take the kids for a walk and things like that. But other, other than that, we're not taking no chances that don't need to be, you know? So, it looks like I got a lot of this stuff out. I'm gonna close to you right here. It looks like I, I cleaned it up pretty good. I think so. Now we're just gonna add some soil. Yes, well, she is so pretty, y'all. I believe that this is a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I guess I have to talk this way because <laughs> I guess I have to talk this way because the uh, the camera's that way. But I actually believe this is a beautiful, beautiful plant, and with the right attention and dedication, that this can be awesome. And I'm really gonna try to pay more attention to her because she is beautiful. Aglaonemas, a lot of people say that they are easy plants. <sighs> One, it depends on the person. I don't really think that any plant is easy. The only plant that I would call easy from my experience is a pothos. Like I feel like a, a pothos, I have them everywhere. They're so hard to destroy. So that's why I always say go with pothos. But other plants, like to me, I feel like she's not as easy maintenance for me, but for other people, they might be, but in, everyone's different. So I have my potty mix here, you guys. And I'm just going to do like this. Can y'all see? I want to make sure that y'all can see. I'm just trying to get good angles for you guys so um, y'all can see what I be doing. So I'm just going to move this back. And I want to make sure that the roots are getting covered. But I'm also going to put my fingers down in here to move some of the soil around. Because you got to know the, the roots have to breathe. And even though it looked like the roots don't have enough soil right now, which I can see they don't, they still need to have air pockets in it so they can breathe the same way we need to breathe. So you want oxygen to get down and you need some air to get down to the plant roots. So we're gonna fill her all the way up though. She is gonna be sitting pretty when we finish with her. She is gonna be, oh, I love the smell of fresh soil and no, um, I do a lot of crafting and things like that. So I tried to put some fingernail polish on the other day, which I did, I didn't try, I actually did. And I used um, acetone for a lot of things and the nail polish just started coming right off. So it makes no sense for me to keep my nails done. Um, being so that I'm in soil and all these other things. So excuse the nails, I don't have a problem with that. I just hope that you guys don't have a problem with it because uh, this is, this is me. This is me. And if you hear some kids with some toys and stuff back there, we have five children here. Plus my mom, my husband. And we make it do what we do. Let me just clear some of this out down here. 
She smells so good. I love the smell of fresh soil. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I love this pot. I got this pot from um, Walmart. Let me show you guys, because I'm done putting the soil in. And I am going to give her a good watering. I'm gonna take her right in the end. I'm gonna take you guys with me because we're about to go and water her in a minute. I know she's feeling this. Girl, yes, honey. Yes, honey. It's a mess right here, but I know you feeling good up in here, girl. So I really like this pot. Let me show it over this way. I got this pot from Walmart. And it has like a little salsa at the bottom of it. But when you water the plant, the water comes down here in the salsa and it catches it. You guys, make sure whenever you have a pot that it has holes at the bottom of it. So, what I mean by holes, you guys remember, when you poo, hey, I painted this pot. He's so cute. See ya. So, what I mean by holes is, there's holes in here. The pot needs to have holes, so when you water the pot, your plant, it drains into the salsa. Now, if you have excess water in the salsa, about 30 minutes after you water it, you need to go back and you need to dump that salsa or that extra water that's there because you don't want your plant sitting in water. That's like somebody leaving you in a bathtub. You're gonna keep getting wrinkly and pruny and pruny and pruny and pruny and pruny. The only thing is we can get out and walk away, but your plant cannot, so it causes root rot. So, some plants come in beautiful pots like this. Beautiful pots, and they don't have holes in it. So you need to make sure, even though it's in a nice pot, you have a pot that has holes in it, right? She needs to be repotted. Mommy. Mommy. Yes? Bella's up from her nap. Okay, babe, give me a few seconds, okay? Hold on, okay? I'm almost done. They have woken up from their nap. All right, you guys, so let's go. I'm going to take you guys with me so she can get a good watering, just so you can see, and I'm going to give her some plant food as well. And then I'm just gonna place her where I have her in her dark corner, away from the window, because today it's raining. It's raining, 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 raining all week and next week. But I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, so since we left the sink, I had to go back and I drained her three times three times so you guys you have to make sure that you are dumping the water from underneath the soil you do not want your plant to get root rot but don't she look so much more happier yes she do yes she does i would still be keeping an eye on her because i want to make sure that i'm getting all this excess water out and she's had some food. I think that she's gonna do pretty well. And if you're not following us on Instagram, go ahead and follow us at the Soren Seward Family. Go ahead, and I always am uploading flowers, plants, the vegetables, because we have started a garden, um, things that I'm creating from the Etsy shop, and just life. Come do life with us on all avenues. Yes. So I can't wait to see you guys again on the next Plants with Ivy video. I'm excited and I'm so glad that I am making time. I am making time to make sure that I am tending to my plants because I love the way that they're growing. And in order for them to keep growing and to stay beautiful and blooming, they need my attention during this quarantine and even after. I was, um, I'm gonna be one bad plant mom. Yeah. So, thank you so much for joining us today, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward Family channel, you are needed. I'm about to show some video clips of where these plants are going to be, and I will see you next time. Peace out.